Hello everyone, this is the first episode of the new series called Opening Disasters and uh, in this video we are going to be looking at the game between Foyer and O'Kelly which was played in Liège in 1934 so it was quite a while ago let's see how they open the game Four. Black replied e5, knight f3, knight c6, and bishop b5, a very well known, Rio Lopez, or Spanish, as they call it somewhere. a6, bishop a4, b6, and bishop c6. Well, with playing like this, white loses a tempo because he could have taken here on c6, a move earlier, but he gets some positional pluses for this tempo that he lost. Why is that? Well, if he took on c6 here, see, this is a very well-known exchange variation of the Royal Opus, black can reply with this move, d takes c6. Actually, black has to reply like that. If he takes with a b pawn, that's really going to get him into some trouble. So, by delaying this capture for one move, what has White achieved? Well, he has achieved that Black pushed the D pawn. Now, when he takes, Black has to recapture the B pawn. Okay, in this situation, that is not so bad. Because Black has this D6 pawn protecting E5. So it can be played, but still there are some positional, how to say, positional defic deficiencies in Black's camp. So that was white, White's idea. And also now he can very easily push the deep on because there is no more knight on c6. So at 45. Fortified the e5 square, white developed, knight c3, and rook b8 activated the rook on a b file, which is a good move. White developed his queen, and that also seems okay. Knight e7, and now h4. This move probably has the idea of, of attacking the black's, black knight, black's knight if it goes to g6 like for example something like this but black instead played h5 which is a good move that actually uh, immediately exploits the weakness of this previous white's move because now the g4 square is a little bit weak Okay, after you remove the knight, you can protect it, but still, I wouldn't play h4, for example. But okay, that's how white played, and now he develops his bishop on d3 and leaves his d2 pawn unguarded. At first sight, it looks like there is no danger in taking that pawn. I mean, the only downside could be a loss of a tempo, but since the black center is very strong, at least it looks like that, and the position is not really open, although it could be very soon, it really looks like that black can take that pawn, and that's what he actually did. But now we will see what was white's idea. This pawn was not for free. There was a hidden tactic here, which starts with the move d takes e5. And black was pretty careless and recaptured straightforwardly with d takes e5, which is a big, big mistake because it allows white to take black's queen and now. Here comes a third move of the game, which is 
long castle hitting the blackwing, I mean giving check to him, and at the same time attacking the black rook with his own king. So basically after this, black will just lose a rook, therefore he resigned. Well, this idea is not so common, very rarely that you can castle and at the same time some kind of a threat or even double attack. So it's good to remember it because in some position positions it might be very useful to make a move with the similar effect in completely different positions but just the idea of castling with attacking something or two pieces as here is the case. So as I said, not so a common idea, but let's go a little bit backwards. So here, the clear mistake was taken with the d pawn. Okay, what could black do instead? Since taking on e5 with the d pawn is losing immediately. Well, he could have ignored this pawn and maybe developed this knight, although that doesn't look so great either, but he could take let's say with the f pawn, white would keep on pouncing, knight takes e5. Now if you take that knight, the same thing happens to black, and at this time he has won a knight on e5 before losing his rook on b2, so it would not be as bad, but it would be also bad. So the conclusion is this knight cannot be taken, but Black could play, let's say rook b8, retreat that rook, and now he's threatening to take the knight. Okay, white could develop the rook and enforce the position of this knight, and the game would continue. It looks like white is better, but it's very far from resignable. So black didn't foresee all these things, and he took here and lost very quickly. Well, later on, this player, the Black Pieces, whose last name is O'Kelly, became a Grandmaster. But at the time, he was probably just on his way to get there, but probably he was still somewhere down the line. So, this can be a good motivational video for you also, regardless of your level of play now. Who knows, one day you might be a grandmaster or a very strong player of, with other titles. That was the game and I hope you enjoyed it and goodbye.